Hi there, uh, this is Robin Norgren, and I am your host for Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. So, um, the date is um, in June 2020, and as many of you, um, if you're listening to it in real time now, um, our world is in such turmoil right now on the heels of a pandemic and then the rise of a lot of racial unrest and uh, in the midst of all of it, I um, feel compelled to just bring a small offering of prayer. And so for as many days as, um, as I can continue to do it, um, I want to give a space for prayer. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking Bible verses, I'm reading them, and then I'm turning them into prayer. So how you can use them is just to sit quietly in a space and allow the words to wash over your spirit, your soul, your heart. Um, maybe allow yourself to cry or to pray or to laugh or to feel peace. Um, it's really not about on your knees or folding your hands or closing your eyes. It's about just letting the callousness of the world wash away so that you really can have eyes to see what it is you can do in your small spaces and some of you even in your big spaces to make this life a little better for someone else. You know, that idea of shining the light? Well, it's not about just, you know, talking about it. And it's not always necessarily about doing something. Sometimes it's just about letting someone know that you're there. And so shining a light and being a light and allowing your light to be a conduit for change, for hope, even in your own home, even in yourself, well, that's how change happens. John 3.30 O oh Christ, you must increase. I must decrease. 2 Corinthians 13.11 May we rejoice, be complete, be of good comfort, be of one mind, and live in peace. And you, the God of love and peace, will be with us. Luke 6, 38. As I give, it will be given to me. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, it will be poured into my lap. For with the measure I, need, I use, I will, it will be measured back to me. 2 Corinthians 9, 6-10 Those who sow sparingly will also reap sparingly, and those who sow bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one should give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion. For God, you love a cheerful giver. And you are able to make all grace abound to us, so that always having all sufficiency in everything, we may abound in every good work. As it is written, he has scattered abroad his gifts to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. Now you, the one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food, will also supply and increase our seed and will increase the fruits of our righteousness. Revelation eleven seventeen. We give thanks to you, Lord God, the one who is and who was, because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. Blessed be your name, Lord God, forever and ever, for wisdom and power belong to you. You change the times and the seasons. You raise up kings and depose them. You give wisdom to the wise 
and knowledge to those who have understanding. You, re de you reveal deep and hidden things. You know what is in the darkness and light dwells with you. Daniel 2, 20 to 22. O oh Lord, what great works you do, and how deep are your thoughts. Only a simpleton would not know, and only a fool would not understand this. Though the wicked sprout like weeds and evildoers flourish, they will be destroyed forever. But you, O oh Lord, will be exalted forever. You are the Lord. That is your name. I will not give your glory to anyone else. God, you must become greater and greater in my life, and I must become less and less. Help me to be joyful, to grow in maturity, to encourage others, to live in harmony and peace. For the God of love and peace is with me. God, I know that when we give, we will receive. The time, talent, money, things given, return in full, pressed down, shaken together, to make room for more, running over and poured into my lap. The Bible tells us to remember this. A farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop. But the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. I must decide in my heart how much to give. And God will generously provide all I need. Then I will always have everything needed and plenty left over to share with others. As the Bible says, they share freely and give generously to the poor. Their good deeds will be remembered forever. For God is the one who provides seed for the farmer and then bread to eat. In the same way, he will provide and increase resources and then produce a great harvest of generosity in me. We give thanks to you, Lord God, the Almighty, the one who is and who always was. Praise the name of God forever and ever, for he has all wisdom and power. He controls the course of world events. He removes kings and sets up other kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the scholars. He reveals deep and mysterious things and knows what lies hidden in darkness, though he is surrounded by light. Psalm 2. Why are nations so angry? Why do they waste their time with futile plans? The kings of the earth prepare for battle. The rulers plot together against the Lord and against his anointed one. Let us break their chains, they cry, and free ourselves from slavery to God. But the one who rules in heaven laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. Then in anger he rebukes them, terrifying them with fierce fury. For the Lord declares, I have placed my chosen King Jesus on the throne in Jerusalem, on my holy mountain. Now then, you kings act wisely. Be warned, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with reverent fear and rejoice with trembling. Submit to God's royal son, or God will become angry, and you will be destroyed in the midst of all your activities. For his anger flares up in an instant. But what joy for all who take refuge in him.